On September 17, 2024, Lebanon was rocked by a series of coordinated explosions involving hundreds of pages. These simple communication devices were transformed into deadly weapons through a sophisticated supply chain attack. But how exactly do these devices work, and what was done to turn them into explosive tools? The explosions, which left hundreds injured and at least eight dead, were originally thought to be caused by cyber attacks. However, deeper investigation suggests a more sophisticated approach, a supply chain attack. This involves tampering with devices during manufacturing or distribution, turning everyday electronics into deadly weapons. A supply chain attack targets vulnerabilities in the manufacturing and distribution of hardware or software. In this case, pages delivered to Hezbollah were likely embedded with explosives during production. But to fully understand the magnitude of this attack, let's dive into the technical details of how pages work. Pages are relatively simple devices, yet their internal architecture is well suited for basic communication. A pager is composed of three main parts, an antenna, a receiver, and a decoder. When a signal is transmitted via radio waves, the pager's antenna picks it up. The receiver processes the signal, and the decoder ensures that the message is addressed to the right pager. Internally, the pager has a microcontroller that manages its operations, typically a low-power CPU like a Texas Instruments MSP430 or microchip PC microcontroller. The power system often relies on ALA batteries or, in more modern pages, lithium-ion batteries. These provide a long-lasting power source, which makes them ideal for environments where reliable, low-maintenance communication is crucial. Along with the microcontroller, the pager contains memory for storing messages and a small display unit for text readout. In older models, like the Motorola Advisor 2 or Gold Apollo AP900, the processor was capable of handling only basic tasks, like decoding alphanumeric messages. At the heart of a pager is its firmware, software embedded directly into the device's hardware. This firmware is written to manage basic functionalities like receiving messages, powering the device, and alerting the user through beeps or vibrations. The firmware is often stored on a small amount of ROM or flash memory, which is crucial for ensuring that the pager operates without needing frequent updates. The firmware itself is typically written in low-level languages like C or assembly, ensuring efficient use of resources in these lightweight devices. A real-time operating system, RTOS, may be used to manage the device's operation, enabling it to respond quickly to incoming signals without significant power draw. The firmware within these devices decodes the transmitted data from a network of radio towers, converting it into readable text on the page's small display. The programming software used to handle this is often highly optimized for efficiency and reliability, ensuring messages can be received over long distances, even in remote areas. Pages communicate using specific radio frequencies that are allocated by regional authorities. The pages used likely communicated using POCSAG or FLEX, both of which are standard radio paging protocols. POCSAG, Post Office Code Standardization Advisory Group, is an older protocol whereas Flex is more modern, allowing for faster transmission and longer battery life. With such a reliable communication system, these pages could have been weaponized by embedding small explosive charges inside, then using the pager's radio receiver to trigger the detonation. The firmware might have been modified to respond to specific signals. The explosive, likely a small amount of C4 or RDX, could be placed inside the pager's battery compartment or another hollow section of the device or in a capacitor. The detonation could then be triggered by sending a specially crafted message or signal to the device. 
which the firmware interprets as an instruction to set off the explosion. This kind of attack illustrates the dangerous intersection of hardware tampering and secure communications. Pages, despite their simplicity, have now been revealed as potential tools for cyber-physical attacks, especially when the supply chain is compromised. After that, similar explosions done on other electronic devices like walkie-talkie, solar-chargeable devices, etc. As organizations and governments become more reliant on technology, the importance of securing every step of the supply chain, especially in critical devices like pagers, has never been greater. The Hezbollah pager, walkie-talkie and other explosions show how even the most basic devices can be weaponized in modern warfare. From the low-level firmware to the hardware architecture, understanding how these devices operate provides insight into how such attacks can be orchestrated. Stay tuned for more in-depth analysis on global events, technology, and security. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated.